This week we are set to experience triple digit temperatures, making it crucial to prioritize safety throughout the week. However, we aren't the only ones being affected. Pets are more vulnerable to the heat and their health can be at risk as well. Local 4's Brandon Muting joins us now live from outside in the heat. Brandon, how do you feel out there? Spencer, Danielle, it is quite hot out. Chose the wrong day to wear a black polo, if you want me to be honest. However, yesterday alone, the Hastings Police Department did receive a couple calls regarding pets and heat. And although they were okay, it is important to know what these temperatures can do to our four-legged friends. City officials recommend keeping your pets inside as much as possible. And if you do take your pet for a walk, it's a good idea to do it earlier in the morning or closer to dusk for cooler temperatures. Carry cold water thermos on the walk as well and keep the pet's paws off the concrete as it can burn them. If your dog has lots of hair, be sure to groom them as much as possible. Community Service Officer Mary Morse says even keeping your pet in the car is not a good idea. Yeah, even if you're planning on leaving your car run, um, what would happen if the car would accidentally die or something like that, you know? Uh, the temperature can rise from 85 degrees to 102 degrees like in 10 minutes. So it doesn't take long at all. Even if you think I'm just going to run in and run back out, it's best to leave your pet at home right now. If your dog is suffering from the heat, soak the pet in cool water and if the pet is unconscious, then seek immediate veterinary care. HPD also encourages anybody who has seen a pet out for an extremely long period of time to give them a call to ensure the pet's safety. Reporting in Hastings for Local 4 News, I'm Brandon Muting. All right, thank you so much, Brandon. Well, now